kids outside my window, please shut the fuck up. Thank you. Hello and welcome to another cards video. In today's video, I'm gonna go over all the details that I didn't cover in my last beta video and go over the new updated version of Night Mode that Corex uh, Technologies developed and published uh, actually yesterday, I think it was. They updated Night Mode, uh, they gave Night Mode to all locations and they added new body kits. And the body kits are for the following vehicles. Lynx, Hachi Roku, Hachi Go, Warrior UDM3, Hakosuka, Pirates, Horizon GT4, and Spear SWI. They also updated the Sylvia S15 model. Let's take a look at the S15 first, shall we? And not gonna lie, it looks exactly the same. Maybe a bit more detailed. Although the rear is kinda low quality. And this livery has been fucked up hard due to the updates. Yeah, it was finished and it was a very, very nice livery, but Karix decided to go fuck itself and break this livery. By the way, it's supposed to look like this. Or this, which is the HKS GameKey Hyper Sylvia. Anyway, let's go over the new body kit, shall we? First of all, we have uh, the Hachiroku livery, A86 Tirano. Kids outside my window, please shut the fuck up. Thank you. Hachigo is basically the exact same thing. Uh, next on, we have the Lynx, which is the RX-8. I, I love the front, but the rear lacks something. I don't know what, but the rear doesn't look nice. It, ne it never did on the RX-8. Uh, next car, Pirate. Uh, it's just added a PS13 Sylvia front, while the rest is exactly the same, and it's kind of fucked up my livery. Next car. If I remember correctly, Siberia is W1, which is the Mighty Carmods X Roadkill crossover episode where they did the Su Super Ute. You can also get it in the in two different front versions. It can be this version, which I don't know, and then the Bug Eye. If I remember correctly, is the GT4 R34 Skyline. It's basically a mad drag build. I really 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 dig this body kit it's very nice and it's gonna be my main r34 uh, body kit for now next car is the udm3 which is basically the udm3 ute which is the time where bmw did a april fool's joke on all the pe people following bmw where they did something like this not gonna lie this would be amazing i don't know there's also hakusuka uh, which gives us a pickup truck-ish bucket and this will be my roofed missile build. I'm still I still didn't finish it, I still need to work the decals, change the wheels color and change the whole body color because this one is set up for a stock OEM Skyline 2000 GT. And I also the other car is the Warrior which I have no clue what car it is, I'm guessing it's this one but content will be available as soon as you complete the event. What fucking event? It was like one year ago. Let's choose a car and let's go to the first track. And let's check it out. Basically, let's check out the night mode for other locations. So yeah, here we are at Castle Road. And I, ha I see some improvement, but as I did in before recording, I ran out of memory on my first SSD and I forgot to change the output directory for NVIDIA. But anyway, here we are. And the things I noticed straight away is that the rear window is lit up and the floor follows the camera and it's lit up right here and it's bright AF. Well, it should be dark AF. Dark like my humor. So dark the police. Anyway, it, it feels nice but it's still way too light. It should be darker. But it ha I know I can't help but notice that there are there are like um, those weird glows, like you see on the horizon. There's this yellowish glow. Like, what the fuck is this supposed to be? Anyway, this thing, this beta, has one thing that's better than Kino, aka actually light lights, street lights, and environment lights up rather than only your car, which that's the case in, which that's the case in the. 
Kino Mohawk. Anyway, the biggest problems is the skybox and lens flares. There are no lens flares. Anyway, the things that are bad with this are the this little tiny glow in the bottom that I highlighted just now. The lens flares, which there are none. And the skybox, which apparently right now became non-existent. I still would love to see some neons in this game, and bet there will be some people using neons, and it will be so obnoxious, but uh, at the end of the day, it's still a thing that is added to the game, and it will feel nice nonetheless. Although they are gonna add the neons in Karak Streets, which, which is the upcoming game from Karak Technologies, and it will be inspired by Need for Speed on the Ground 2, and it will feature free roam and more features than car extreme racing. Anyway, long story short, four new cars, night mode for all the locations, which this level is still pretty trash and Kino Mod is still better nonetheless. It, it's, it can't be compared to, to Kino Mod. Kino Mod is just so much better than this. Anyway, that will be it for today's video. Again, remember to subscribe for more Car X BMNG content. And yeah, it's kind, of, it's it's kind of it. There is not much else to say, other than stuff that I already said. So yeah, there is not much else to do now. But uh, say, here you have an outro. Thanks for watching my video. If you want to support me and Night for Auto Club, you can buy our merch. Please do. It's a very good quality. I have the merch myself. It's amazing, I love it. You can buy it, we have hoodies, we have t-shirts, we have bandanas. Yeah, you name it, we have it. Ah, by the way, uh, link is in the description or right here. Uh, yeah, that's, we will, we will close that. Uh, yeah, see you guys.